manager of the London Neptune Theatre in the early hours of Friday morning. The local coroner determined the cause of death to be a broken neck. We could not be sure if her death was malicious. A tragic accident. Local police have stated that they have no suspects and that the investigation is ongoing. Chloe Winters is the daughter of Jonathan Winters, an actor who has been appearing at the Neptune Theatre for the last 11 months. The state I've always known that she was an angel. Even at birth, I had to kill her hand in mine. I knew that when she died, she would go to heaven. Are you in heaven, my Chloe? Are you in heaven when I am in hell? To think, last week I was a happy man. I had a family. I was getting better. All of London at my feet, but in this very theatre, I would dazzle with the works of Brecht and Shakespeare. And that's all gone now. Who do I blame? Do I blame God for taking my little angel away to join his? Do I blame the man responsible for her death if such a man exists? Or do I blame the man on the stage before you know? Last week, I was a happy man. I had a family. I was getting better. I had all of London at my feet in this very theatre. But it's not a theatre anymore. It's a grave. A grave for my Chloe. The dead are here among us. I can hear the cries of anguish. I can hear the screams of torment. I have often lay awake at night distracted from prayer those screams and those cries. Chloe had them too, I know she did. Seat. We first saw me perform stage when she was 
And I think first met and fell in love. I always knew that something like this was going to happen. I knew. What are you talking about? I knew she was going to die. Do not ask me how. I felt for some time now that something was coming for her and it will come for us too. Look here, Father. What is coming for us? Never mind. Tell me, Juliet! The devil took her from us, Jonathan. That's not enough. You will take us now. Sorry, my love. My words hurt you. You're just upset, Juliet. You're not thinking straight. Our little Chloe is here. Heaven! Is that not just a fairy tale told by our mothers to give us hope? Do we really have anything to look forward to in death? We will see Chloe again. Yes, we will. Not be in heaven. I think I have a bottle of scotch in my dressing room. No, I am certain. I shall get it for us. What happened to us, Jonathan? We used to be so happy. Everything changes all the time. Why should we be any different? Can we be so cold? I'm sorry, my love. Do you remember the night that we first met? When I saw you perform on stage. Yes. You said I was. Finest actor in London. Yes, I remember. And I said that you were the most beautiful woman in all of London. Nay, the entire world. I remember that night like it was just yesterday. I was performing in this very theatre in the production of Hamlet. But during the performance, I was distracted by a young, beautiful woman in the crowd. You, Juliet. I thought that she was an angel. But you truly were. Loving you was all I knew. There was nothing I could do. I knew the feeling was true. From the moment I first saw you, we surrendered to the moment. And we danced beneath the stars. Yes, the sight of rose were bent like when the world was ours.
that matters anymore. Yeah. You should be at home in bed. I should. But I'm not going anywhere. I see. In that case, neither am I. Why did you come here, Jonathan? Why did you leave me? You were quite safe. Yes. Now that I've had time to think on it, yes, I am certain. Then why did you come here? I feel somehow comfortable knowing Chloe was here. But this is where she died. I might never get a chance to give our angel a proper funeral. So I suppose I came to say goodbye. She will never leave, Jonathan. She's not at rest. Her killer still lives. How do you know? Told me. Juliet, I'm getting a little bit sick and tired of listening to you. It was a beautiful summer's day. I decided to take Chloe for a walk into town. The carnival was in town. Parties, freak shows, gypsies. Chloe was so enraptured by them. She'd never seen anything like it before. Before I knew it, I was sitting in front of the gypsy woman who wanted to tell me my fortune. Now you know that I do not believe in the occult, Jonathan. What she told me that day has haunted me since our daughter was found dead. Gypsy told me that I would know a great tragedy very soon, that my daughter's life was at stake. She told me that the devil does not wander in hell but up here among us, and that he, Lucifer, Satan, would murder Chloe. I've heard enough of this, Juliet. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to scare me? Do you blame me for our daughter's death? In the name of God, tell me the truth! I have not told you a single lie, Jonathan! Our daughter was murdered by the devil himself. It doesn't make any sense! It will make sense. Just wait and you shall see. I'm going to take you home. Then I'm going to call Dr. James. I am not going anywhere, Jonathan. Think I am mad? Then bring the good doctor here. Don't make me! If you want to strike me, Jonathan, then you would better. It's not good to keep your impulses locked up inside. Sometimes it is better to let them out. Last week, I was a happy man. I was getting better. Two minutes. I have to use the telephone, my love. Hello, Dr. James. Jonathan Winters here. Yes, sir, as well as can be expected. <laughs> but by being honest, I don't think I'll ever act again. It's just too hard without my pulling. I don't think I can bear to stand on a stage and not see her looking back at me. Mr. Fleming has offered me a post as an assistant clerk. I'm undecided, sir. <coughs> Juliet has not been very well, which is why I'm calling. Is there any chance that you can come and see her? She thinks that something evil murdered Chloe. She says it was the devil himself. I am very worried about her. No, we're not at home. We're at the theatre, exercising some ghost, you might say. Please, come as quick as you can. Yes, she knows I have called you. I hope that you can help her. I am very worried. Juliet! 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 Dr. James! Is she going to be okay? She has suffered a great shock. And what would have caused such a shock? Oh, dear Jonathan. Juliet is on the stage where our daughter has died. Her emotions are at their peak. She should not have been here. I told her to stay at home. Which leads me to my next question. What are you doing here? I came only to say goodbye to our daughter. You told me that Juliet had said that the devil had killed Chloe. Yes. And that she knew it was going to happen. Yes. When did she first start saying these things? It was the night of Chloe's death. This place was absolute chaos. Some would say hell on earth. Police, press. Right in the center of all of this is Juliet holding Chloe's body. Muttering to herself. Yes? She kept saying over and over, The devil killed my angel. The devil killed my angel. And he is laughing at me now. At the time, I didn't think much of it, but... Ever since that night, things have gotten worse and worse. 
People overcome with guilt will often fabricate a story to cover their own actions. Yes. That's the buck, so to speak. Mm. The devil made me do it. I was drunk. I did not know what I was doing.
Синий, ну, голодать. Смотри, пус. Кловый. I know it sounds crazy, but I know it sounds insane. I know it sounds crazy, but perhaps I'm overreacting. You're right. I have had a lot to drink. Yes, it's understandable. You've had a very emotional week. Yes. I hope you never face a tragedy that you and Julian have known. I would never wish it on anyone, James. I just miss Chloe so much. I think that Juliet, I think that Juliet is going to die without her. She will cover in time. But how are you feeling? I'm as well as can be expected. For a moment I thought you'd forgotten. Every day I'm reminded of what I did. All I have to do is look at Juliet and it all comes flooding back. Have you summoned the courage to tell her yet? What? But I had an affair. The woman was unstable. She tried to kill me. Threatened our own daughter's life. No! I've not summoned the courage to tell her yet. If it killed Juliet, it nearly killed me. And you decided to take your own life? I just couldn't bear the kill, James. I decided that Juliet would be better off without me. But then I decided, no! I deserve to die. I could repent for my sin. Juliet need never know what happened. Are you sure she is gone? Quite sure. I have grounds to certainty. Which are? Some things are best left as they are. If she's not gone, then maybe I have some respect suspect. She left! For America. On a ship bound for New York. Now let us leave it at that, James. And as you wish. Get for another drink, James. I know I should be No. It's me, my love. Well, he was just here. Did you see her? I mean by your expression, Julie. You saw her too, didn't you, Jonathan? She came to see me too. What I saw was. Jonathan saw nothing, and neither did I. Jonathan saw her. She was here, but she's still here now. The lighting desk is just on stage. Thank you, John. Julia, I want you to clear your mind. Empty the thoughts. Your mind was completely... Oh! 
What the hell was that? It's probably nothing. Yes. 
going on? You hypnotized you, Julia. Do you remember anything? Only a great darkness descending over me. What is going on? You seem possessed, my love. I have no words to describe it. James. Jonathan is correct. You were possessed. Speaking in a voice that was not your own. Do you remember? I, I do not recall. I... Juliet, you must tell us what happened. I heard a voice speaking to me like, like something from the older grave. Well, we was there, but also something else. Something evil. Evil? It was the devil. That's impossible. Isn't it? After what I've just witnessed, I'm willing to suspend my disbelief. Well, it was a good performance, wasn't it, Jonathan? Did you just say? I am quite sure that you heard me. Juliet, what are you talking about? I almost forgot. I'm in the presence of Jonathan Winters, one of London's finest actors. No! You have played me for an old fool! No, James, I swear, I swear to you! Spare me your lies! Jonathan. No, I swear, James, I would never try to deceive you. James, what are you doing? I'm just not sure I should go. No, please, stay, James, please. I'm not going anywhere, Doctor. No, no, please, please stay for me. You have to help Juliet. Let me help this later. No, wait. Listen, you old fool. Why do you waste your time with this old fool, Jonathan? Why don't you come here? Jonathan, don't go! I don't want to make love to you, Jonathan. But you want to do it like we used to. A passion is full of longing. Yes. We used to you, Jonathan. Wife. Chloe is dead, and her soul is forced to wander. 
It's said that if someone dies in this world with unfinished business, their soul is forced to wander forever until that business is resolved. But what is Chloe's unfinished business? Is it obvious? Her killer is still at large. If she was indeed murdered. You heard what Juliet had said? This monster, this killer, killed your daughter. No, please, James. I don't wish to even think about what happened to Chloe. Please. I'm sorry. I knew nothing of grievance until my angel was taken. I've been haunted ever since. My son, it can't be forsaken. There is black darkness here.
dying thing. I know. Also blind to think Chloe's here, so it's Did it hurt you? So you understand what's going on? What did James said you are possessed? I am Jonathan. I let it in, I let it take control of me. What is it? I wanted to contact Chloe. I wanted to make sure she was safe, so that's why I came here tonight. Oh, yes. I saw the gypsy woman again, not two days before, but two days ago, and she showed me the way. So I came here early tonight, long before you knew I was here, and I put her letter to the test. It worked, Jonathan. Chloe spoke to me, but she was not alone. Something had crawled out of the other side. The other side? I saw the dead come to life. Well, between heaven and hell, where only the most tortured soul exists. He came through, and it is he who has taken control of my body. What the hell is it? He says he is Satan, the Prince of Darkness, Jonathan's savior. I don't know when he will take control of me again. He must promise me that if I lose control again, he will end my pain. Stop talking like that. Dr. Jane says he knows of a way to save you. What way? I know, it sounds ridiculous, but you have to trust him. You have to trust me. I do trust you, Jonathan. With my life. Is it true? It's what true? About the woman. About the affair. When did you find out? Mm -hmm. Is it true? Mm -hmm. I mean for it to go as far as it did. I assure you. The woman came to my dressing room late one night and we. Did you make love? I was weak. I didn't realize that, that the woman was unstable. She tried to kill me, Juliet. I didn't close safety if I did not continue with the affair. What became of her? I promised her we'd start a new life in America. She set sail for New York over six weeks, about six months ago. I'm so sorry, Juliet. I've never felt more unworthy of your love, but I can assure you I'm going to make this up to you. Even if it takes until my dying day. You promised that she is gone. I swear, no one will never hear or see this woman. To myself it was not true To achieve all crimes I could not do But all along this monster was And with a noble purpose I turned to save her from the back
show I can. Ooh, romantic lighting event. <laughs> Oh, 
Am I interrupting? Um, <laughs> not quite. Did you get everything we need? Yes, I believe so. How are you feeling, my dear? I'm quite afraid. I understand. There's nothing to be afraid of. This is going to help you. I hope so. Are there any side effects to this particular ritual? If you mean this, eh? We never died of an exorcism. Yes. But I can't tell you. Remember, this is a religious ritual. This is a ritual. A religious ritual. Yes. yes. Going back to the very start of Christianity. Well, it works. That's the main thing. There is only one way to find out. Yes. Juliet, please take a seat. I'm not going to lie to you, Juliet. I'm not sure what will happen when you perform this ritual. An educated guess would be that the spirits are going to struggle. They will not give up without the fight. This prayer that God will be on our side. What exactly do you need me to do? I need you to stay close by Julie. Oh, speak to her throughout. Yes. No matter what happens, always remind her who you are. Well, we both know that if the ritual does not work, should the demon take control of me again, there's going to be an effort to kill me. Please. That's the only way to stop me from harming you. We understand. Shall we begin? Yes, I'm ready. Now under the protection of Jesus, Jonathan. We ask you, God, to watch over us and guide us as we prepare to drive a demon from your servant, Juliet. Ignore anything that happens, Jonathan. We ask of you to watch over us and to protect us from the powers of darkness. Above all, protect us from the mortal enemy of angels and mortals alike. Protect us from the prince of darkness, Satan, Lucifer. What's wrong? Um, nothing. Just, just felt like there was a tight grip on my chest. Please continue. Be with us, God, in your hour of need. Lend us your strength and grant us some of your holy power. Amen. Amen. Now we call upon the evil spirit within Juliet. We call upon the evil spirit within Juliet. We call upon you and ask for you to identify yourself. Why did you hurt me? What did I do to deserve what you did to me? Juliet? Mother isn't here, father. Who are you? You don't recognize the voice of your own daughter. Answer me, damn you. Who are you? How do you know my name? Twice to it, Jonathan. Did you not recognize her? Did you not recognize the voice of your own daughter? That thing was not my daughter! You fool! Oh. Oh. You do not know what you have done. Continue with the ritual! Identify yourself, demon! I have many names. What do you want with God's servant, Juliet? God has no servants! He has sheep following him blindly like chickens. Without their heads. We ask you in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ. Release Juliet. Release her and let her live in peace. Never. Your God doesn't frighten me. Then why are you screaming? Face us if you are unafraid. Taste you. If I were to face you, I am sure you would be stabbing the disciples to fill you with horror. In fact, I can wager you would kill you with the fright.
was going to pop stage. And I love that night when I laid eyes upon you. Shut up! I never met you yet. Release you in demon! And then it was the fan of the the whole I think we've had quite enough excitement for one evening. Shall I hail us a cab? Oh, Jesus. I don't think I want to stay here any longer. Of course. Stay here until I have to. Chloe, you did not heed the warnings. If you are truly free of the devil, then why does he still walk the boards of this theatre? I don't understand. I have shown you what he did to me. Now please save me. Who? Oh. Isn't you talking to someone, Juliet? Dr. James, please, don't hurt me. Poor son of the devil, you hurt her. What are you talking about? You murdered my daughter. This whole time it was you. Why? I'm quite an experienced, Juliet. Would you let me take you home? I would rather die. You are a monster. I wouldn't disobey me, Juliet. Why? What will you do? Murder me like you murdered my little girl? I did not murder Chloe! <laughs> I just shut her up a little. It was for the best. She would have got in the way. Got in the way? does not deserve your love anymore. I came to the theatre that night to dispose of him. Don't you see? It's so for the best so we could be together. You're mad.
should have given her heaven! Thank you.